finally done with my hair. Hopefully the fan in the back is not making too much noise. It's hot in here and with all these lights, I'm hot. But I am finally done with my hair. So this is the Bohemian braid. And I like it, I do like it. Now, one thing I am a little confused about is because I used to wear crochet bohemian braid all the time. I used to wear it all the time, maybe like three years ago. And I could remember when I used to wear it, it was longer. And I'm going to try to find an old picture with me wearing this hair and try to compare it to this. Compare it to this because I don't remember it being this short. It was like when I used to wear it, it was like, it came like right here and all of this was full and big. It was like, it was really big and really layered. This is more of a short, wild type of look. I mean, I still like it. I don't feel like it's too bad. Um, I still do, actually, I still do like it. So I'm still going to wear it. It's just, I wasn't expecting this, if that makes sense. So, but it is what it is. I, I, I rock anything, honey. I rock a fade, okay? So, I mean... I like switching up my hair. It doesn't bother me. Um, I don't really want to say that this is a review because as I said before, I used to wear Bohemian braid all the time. Bohemian braid so far has been the longest protective style outside of braids, like box braids or something like that where I was able to keep. So I would say as far as crochet braids go, Bohemian braid is the is the only texture that I was able to keep up the longest and I think the longest I ever went with keeping crochet braids is maybe two months or a little over two months um to be honest I don't know how long I plan to keep this up um as I said I'm not going to try to like make this a review video because I already know Bohemian braids do last a quite a long time as long as you take care of your hair properly, it's going to last you. Um, but if you want to know how I sleep with my hair, now I got to be real ghetto and reach over and get this bonnet. And I should have had it before I even started. Don't judge me, okay? So, here we go. So, basically, how I sleep with it, if I was to go to bed, I will pull all of this up in a pineapple like this to the top and then put a bonnet on and to protect my hairline i would just tie a scarf i don't have my scarf and it's not over there i would just tie a scarf around my edges at night and then you know of course when you wake up in the morning just take the air, shake it, fluff it, <laughs> and you good to go, boo. Now, um, the other thing is, I did not do the not list method because, to be honest, um, I'm being honest, I'm still working on it. Uh, it's like crochet braids is just like. They just evolving. Back in my day, I had the ugly crochet braids. It was the one, when I was a kid, I had the ones where it was a braid and it was curled. Child, that was so ugly. But my mama, Lord, bless her heart. That's, that's all she could do for me, okay? But um, crochet braids are evolving. So right now, I don't know how to do the not loose method. I am working on it um on trying to learn it but to be honest the knots for bohemian braid hair it doesn't bother me like you 
it's like you can see it, but at the same time, it's like the hair is so big and full, like you can't really tell. Or at least I feel that way. I, I it don't bother me, but I didn't do the not loose method. I know at the beginning when I showed y'all, I showed y'all all um, number two. So I have a weave box and in my weave box, I found some old bohemian hair because I told you I used to wear this all the time where I had um, a color. I think this is a, um, a 30. I think this may be a 30 because a 27, I think is a lot blonder. But um, I had this old hair and I just wanted some like streaks or like a little pop of color here and there. I didn't want to do like a, a whole lot. So I just put in a little bit of pop of color. But um, I, I pretty much, I like it. I do like it. Um, I showed you guys four packs. I used two and a half, I would say, because I cut the hair in half. So as you guys saw, so I have about that much left. So yeah, I use, I, I use two and a half packs. Um, I'm not worried. I didn't, so let me slow down. I used two and a half packs. I did not apply any mousse to this hair because I like the fullness of it mousse contains curls it tones it down i actually like it this big um did i do any major cutting no because the hair was cut in half so i didn't have to do much now there were like some they're gone now but there were like you know the fuzzy pieces or when you start pulling the hair apart and you get the pieces that poof up because it's too hard to pull apart um, there were some like straggly pieces like that and I just cut it off, but literally all I did was like when that came to those types, I just did that, just snipped it off. It's literally that simple. You don't have to shape it. It's already shaped. Now, the only thing is if you do not like it this length, then leave the hair long and you will have to cut and shape and do all of that afterwards. But if you're okay with this length, literally just cut the hair in half and install it as normal. Again, I don't really care about the knotless method when it comes to this style because it's like, it's so big and full. And it, to me, it just, it just doesn't really make a difference. Like seriously, for me, it doesn't. Um, I can wear it either way i actually like it it's giving me like the you know the rocker chick vibes like ugh. I and i don't know is this doing it for y'all because it's, it's doing it for me it's it's definitely doing it for me it's it's giving me like tina turner vibes like spice girl vibes i'm talking about tina private dancer i'm your private dancer Yes, Lord. So, but I mean, I like it. I really do. I do. I would prefer for it to have been what I was expecting. Cause I don't like no surprises when it comes to my hair. I, you know, I picked this style because I already knew how it was going to turn out. However, this is not too bad. Would I do it again? Probably, yeah. It, it depends on the mood that I'm going for. Because to be honest, my hair mood is always changing. One minute I'm in a mood for a mushroom, next minute I'm in a mood for a big curls, then the next minute I'm in a mood to just give me a, a, um, a, a smooth straight bun, baby, and throw on some big hoop earrings. It's, it just depends on my mood. But for the most part, I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will have a few more crochet tutorials coming up really soon. Peace and blessings. Sorry it took me a while to start getting loaded. Well, doing videos again. Um, I pretty much hated the quality of my older videos. So I was like, you know what? To get back started, I was going to try to be a little bit more professional. 
go out by the ring light, upgrade the camera. So I hope you guys can tell the difference. And again, you guys stay blessed. Thank you for watching. Bye. How you try to end on a cute note and you ain't even got the remote in your hand? It's by Brittany.